Hey, I'm Bowen. Welcome to Papa World Headquarters just outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are playing the brand new Jersey Jack Pinball dialed in. The newest design from Pat Lawler, uh, Keith Johnson on the software along with Ted Estes, Joe Katz, and many other uh, people with prior experience in the era of 90s and 2000s uh, games, including John Yowsey, who is responsible for the artwork on Dialed In. This game is about uh, charging phones and uh, creating disasters, a little bit of a Sim City effect. And we will talk about the under attack multi ball, the different disasters and how to beat them, as well as the ever elusive Sim cards that are the key to high scores on this machine. Brought to you by Crazy Bob's Phone Store. Crazy phones, crazy prices, crazy deals. Crazy. Crazy Bob is crazy, I think is the point of what we're just saying there. Uh, dialed in has two skill shots. The first is to plunge about halfway around to go into that saucer in the back, and we'll give you one of the awards on the list on the right side. You then can hit the ball into either the side ramp or the SIM card saucer to score a super skill shot additionally. I'll show you the other skill shot on the next ball, which hopefully won't happen right away. After the phone is lit, there will be four disasters ready for you. In this case, you kind of have to read them to know what they are. The meteor storm, the EMP, the whirlwind, and the flash fires. So I'm going to start with flash fires here. And the way to line this up is to go one past what you want, then use the other flipper to flip. It works like uh, Lord of the Rings. If you don't care, just shoot the phone and you'll get, you'll get some random one. But the reason you might want to care is because some of them are significantly easier than others to complete, and those points matter. In this one, it's uh, it's the left ramp, then Bob, and you're just going left ramp Bob for five shots. Oh, geez, left ramp Bob, left ramp Bob. Left ramp. Oh, whole bad shot there. Still you see, I've got 10 seconds left. Well, I can get more time too by putting it back in that mode start saucer for up to 10 seconds more time. I think you may even be able to do that more than once, but only one shot to go, a quick post transfer, and a ramp shot should finish it off for me. Five shots, finishes the mode. You get all sorts of goodies. The points for the mode, the completion bonus, a timer bonus for how much is left. That doesn't really matter very much. And the SIM card will be lit as well. I just said that. Uh, it's right below the side ramp and the SIM card effect is to multiply your mode points for the remainder of the game. SIM card is the most important shot in Dialed In. If you light a SIM card, you should try for it, but you, it can, it, you should expect to have trouble having the ball actually fall into the SIM card saucer. Uh, usually a good way of dealing with this is to try and start multi-ball. And <laughs> I've got the next mode lit. I've got lock lit. I could relit the kickback while it was kicking back. Uh, let's get the next mode here. And what do we want to go for? We're about near multi-ball. Let's go for one that uh, would reward us for random bounces. That is Meteor Storm. Meteor Storm is the stand-up targets that are flashing red and yellow right now. So I'm going to try to get right into multi-ball. Lock a ball in that left saucer. Oh, we got Lottery Frenzy too. This is potentially very good here. 5,000 points. Lock three balls to activate multi-ball. That is just not true. I only needed to lock one ball to activate multi-ball. Lottery Frenzy. But if I can start multi-ball quickly, I got Lottery Frenzy, I've got the mode with the stand-ups, I've got a SIM card lit, I've got jackpots. This is a good deal. And the best deal right here is to shoot for the theater because I'm either gonna get the SIM card, which is a beautiful thing. I wish I could have gotten two SIM cards there. 2.0, or I'm going to get my uh, lottery shots. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a very quick exit from the multi ball. Ooh, oh, that was a quick save there. That's why you don't want to do that in single ball play. If you do that in multi ball and it throws the ball down the middle, you're like, all right, whatever. Oh, wait, that's still working. Crazy. Another SIM card? I'll take that. Yeah, sure, I'll take another SIM card. Lock is lit. 
So after the first lock, you have to make the side ramps for locks in the future. So the side ramp is probably the most difficult shot in the game besides the SIM card. Uh, getting the ball even to that, that side flipper can be difficult. You want to use a theater for that, and then you've got to power it kind of up there. It's the, 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 that little statue tries to help, but it really doesn't do much. Yeah, get up there, boom, shakalaka. That, if you watch the Pinburg 2017 final with uh, Josh Sharp, that's how he was able to win this game. Uh, he was able to make that side ramp consistently and none of the other players were able to. And that enabled him to get to more rounds, more multi-balls, more everything. The other skill shot that you can do is to just plunge fully and be in play. And one advantage of plunging fully, watch the right ramp here. The right ramp can be scored sometimes if you are in the middle of, uh, say, a mode or otherwise. I'm not sure if it was supposed to register there or not, but, uh, oh gosh, that's down. That's down, but another kickback, crazy. Oh, crazy. All right, so I will lose that second SIM card, the SIM card for finishing Meteor Storm. It's gone now. Uh, it doesn't carry over from ball to ball. I'll need to finish another mode, or there are, you can also earn SIM, SIM cards from the objectives and the quick multi-balls. But mostly you're gonna get SIM cards from mode completion. So compared to a lot of games where modes are sort of incidental to, to play, modes are super important in, uh, uh, in dialed in. Playing and completing modes is the biggest source of all points in the game. And where are we now? We can play whatever mode we want. Let's play Volcano. I don't have time for a natural disaster. Okay, Genatonic. Genatonic lets us shoot the center for uh, a hurry up value. And then I'm collecting that same hurry up value times two on the remaining shots, which are two right ramps and two theaters. For theater, you just hop it over, shoot it up the middle. Ooh, Big Bang is ready. We'll talk about Big Bang next. Oh no, this is bad, real bad. Oof, got away with that. But it seems unlikely I'm gonna finish this mode. Oh, that was a SIM card, that would've been nice. No. Flips. Crazy. Four seconds left. Let's get it. Yes. Finish the mode. Points. Big points. And watch that completion. That's 30,000 for the completion of the mode times two, 60,000 for that final shot, plus whatever it was supposed to be worth. And lighting a SIM card to make the game go even bigger. Uh, you can see that that playing these modes and gaining control over the modes is just critical to, uh, to, to beating this game. Uh, I've got that SIM card ready, but I, I don't necessarily want to shoot for it right now unless I have opportunity from the upper flipper. Let's start another mode and we'll try to big bang out of this one. I'm gonna play um, Alien Invasion, which is one of the harder modes to finish. And big bang is what I'm gonna go for. Instead of whatever I'm supposed to go for. Boom! Oh, that was a beautiful thing. How much was that worth? Oh, status report. Boom, 200,000 points for using the Big Bang. Um, and another SIM card is ready. So I've got two SIM cards stacked now. I've got uh, one lock, the second lock is ready on the left ramp. Uh, the left loop is lit for a bonus multiplier and an extra ball. And the quantum guy continues to be ready. You gotta be careful with quantum dude. He will mess you up. It's it's just something. I mean, you, you you can avoid that shot a little bit by trying to get glancing blows on him, but uh, at some point you just have to to eat it and uh, and and deal with it. Let's play whirlwind. What is that funny looking As uh, Anita Goodman. Uh, oh my God, that's so funny. Uh, we go left ramp here. Left ramp. We go right ramp. Shoot the right ramp. We go left loop. Shoot the left loop. And notice that, the, like, the game is telling me where those shots are, but but realistically, I'm being asked to make the shot before I know that. So it is important for you to learn where those shots are located. Side ramp is the last one in this in this mode. Let's get there. Yes, this is big. Look at this score. Boom. 
that shot just by itself was over 200,000 points. Uh, the completion bonus, the SIM card multiplier, another SIM card is lit. Multi-ball is ready. And we're gonna try to go into multi-ball and earn the SIM cards that are laying on the table, all three of them. Um, and I, I just wanna keep the ball under control right now, so I'm gonna full pull, get the ball to my right flipper, hop it over, and try to start the multi-ball, boom. Electronics, we have detected multi-ball. Good use of the, uh, the, the abort there. We've detected multi-ball. Okay, so, hit. Crazy. Okay, we've just started an, a, an instant multi-ball inside the multi-ball. This is the Monkey Wrench multi-ball, which will kick a fourth ball into play. And Monkey Wrench multi-ball is earned by completing the third, um, the third bob. And a Monkey Wrench multi-ball involves shooting the, the left ramp and trying to get the ball past the statue. I don't really care about what else is going on because I'm trying to teach you what I'm doing. But uh, the thing in, in this mode is that, okay, let's get under control, I'm sorry. The thing about this, this, this quick multi-ball is that that uh, statue is moving its uh, arm up and down. So you wanna kinda get it as it's moving its arm up, shoot the left ramp, and try not to get distracted by Oh, any of the stuff that's going on that was disastrous all around. The, the, the biggest disaster of, of that is that I have three SIM cards sitting on the table uncollected right now. They're all there. They're going to multiply these modes. Huge. But if I can't get the ball to fall into that hole, I can't get them. <laughs> and now all of a sudden I can make the side ramp. Getting good combo action. Oh, what a Really? Oh, what a dumb play. I thought that was bouncing over and it wasn't. And now three SIM cards are dead. Uh, really, that's gonna kill any chance that I have of getting to uh, showdown with this game. But that was ball two. This will be ball three of a, of a three ball regular play game. And you can really see the value of the SIM cards. Everything in those modes has been doubled and there are more modes available now. In fact, there's a mode coming up later that just has a single shot to complete it. So if, if you have the phone ready to go for your mode, you might as well take a, a regular skill shot and try for some points there. An award, hold spider value with plus 5,000. And then try to, yeah, oh, yeah, oh great. You go in this. I was talking with uh, Colin McAlpine who won Pinburg uh, about uh, his play on dialed in. He said he got uh, seven out of eight of the, the dialed in letters. Couldn't get the ball to fall in for the saucer. And then as soon as his ball ended, he immediately fell into that saucer a bunch of times. So let's, uh, let's go play Earthshaker, which is one of the easier modes to finish. And you can post transfer off the right or hop it out a little bit. I like the full post transfer. This, the reason to do this is it gives you the control over what mode you're going to start in. Now you're going to go in that saucer again, the SIM card saucer, you jerk. All right, let's uh, stop focusing on the specific mode we're after and just get a mode started. I find that to be one of the difficulties with, uh, with having full, uh, full autonomy over your mode choices. It's like, I kind of don't really want that. I just want to be able to, to, to play and flow. But every time I trap up, I'm like, oh, I could get this now. Meanwhile, the ball's out of control. And I'm trying to get control rather than put it where I want. Now let's go back and get Earthshaker correctly this time. Earthshaker gives me two lit shots, in this case, the side loop and the theater. And I have to make either one four times. The shot value is also pretty good, so. It does, the game doesn't care which one you, you make. So right ramp or the theater, let's make the right ramp. Or you could just send me back into the, the mode start hole. Whatever. And what's the other one? The other one is the side ramp. So forget that. I'll go left ramp, right ramp so I can light lock here. 
Yeah, or I'll just miss. I don't care. Whatever. Whatever you say. And this time it's theater. That's it. Oh, darn it. So finished the mode, got a huge pile of points, lit a SIM card, immediately drained. Um, I have finished, uh, I think, all six modes that I've played so far. But I only have one uh, SIM card to show for it. That's, uh, <laughs> that's truly disappointing. Shoot again. And that was a three ball score. So 1.4 million on three balls. We've got uh, two extra balls, one for three disasters and the other for a score of 500,000. Uh, with the phone not lit, I'm gonna fully plunge so that I can shoot the quantum guy while the ball save is still on and essentially light the phone without, uh, without risk of a drain. Ooh, I've got a new phone. I don't know how to use it. All right, let's play Acid Rain. So in Acid Rain, you can shoot the left ramp to feed the bumpers, which is interesting. That's, and this is the other effect of that, uh, that statue that diverts the ball. So by coming from the right flipper up the left ramp, it will be diverted into the, bump, into the jets. It's supposed to anyway. You don't necessarily have full control over that, but with better control over your shot, you can make that bounce into the jets from there. The other way to do it is to get the quantum guy out of the way and then shoot the jets directly. The Metro Center of Meltdown continues. Every jet adds 1,000 to the value of the left ramp. So right here where I'm adding time, this is big now because I have a shot on the left ramp which is worth, uh, I don't even know how much, it says uh, 31,000 points. Yeah, well, if I had all those SIM cards from before, this would be ridiculous. Instead, it's just really crazy. I'm sorry, I should not have said that. It's just really good instead of being ridiculously good. Sorry about the, sorry about the frosty language there. Um, timer bonus right at the end. We've got uh, seven modes complete, so all seven modes won. If we had been able to play our SIM cards correctly, we could actually be closing in on the showdown, but we only have one, one lousy SIM card, unfortunately. The music, uh, by the way, gets a little uh, faster paced as you get closer and closer to finishing all the modes. Doodly doo doot, doodly doo 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 doodly doo doot. Remember that Bob's is worth completing. Bob's is worth a lot of points, and I recommend getting Bob's whenever it is lit. It is always valuable. Uh, it's either going to be lit for points, a mode. In that case, it was just points. It's a bonus multiplier. I've got a new phone. I don't know how to get SIM cards. Left ramp, right ramp as a combo is required for locks on the third level of, uh, of this. And you need to get three locks. So that's lock one. But really, to do this, it was lock, train one, train two. You can get them in either, either order. But you then must get the, the side ramp to get any lock. SIM card just continuing to flash at me, taunting me, reminding me that uh, I suck at collecting SIM cards. Do, do, do. However, I'm pretty great at collecting. Yes! Take that SIM card! Yeah! You triple that now! Three dot zero. All right, so let's go into uh, the remaining modes I have. I have uh, the EMP, which uh, is the worst mode. Uh, I have Singularity, which is relatively easy to finish. I have um, the, uh, the Sinkholes, which is also relatively easy to finish. And I have Tidal Wave, which takes one shot to finish. And at triple value, I'm going right for that. I'm going for the Tidal Wave. So Tidal Wave is a side ramp shot for completion, and any other shot you make pays some value. I think it pays uh, 8,000. So that added 8,000 to the value. That added another 8,000 to the value. That added another 8,000 to the value. And oh, that would have been huge. Oh, that would have been huge. Oh, darn it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, so close. That would have been a 300,000 shot probably. Um, instead, that's end a ball. 
But these are the types of things that, that, that make Dialed In a really interesting and exciting game, uh, for, for, at least for me. Uh, I enjoy these opportunities to, to do something that uh, that is like critical, like make this shot for a big score or don't, or you can mess it up. And sometimes games don't really provide those opportunities. But um, we're now only three modes away from the, uh, the Armageddon. We need uh, some number of combos. We have 27 combos and there's an extra ball of 35 combos. So I need eight more combos through any, sh any connection of shots to, to get an extra ball. Let's play uh, one of these remaining three modes. We're playing sinkholes. We're gonna shoot the loops here for 10,000, but really they're 30,000 because of the SIM card multiplier. There it is, and we'll also start emojis. Oh, emojis, I hate you. I hate emojis. That's what I said, I said I hate emojis. Okay, I can do that. Meanwhile, lock two is lit, and some, man, some modes have multiple shots that you can make that will all award points. And I think I just finished the emoji overload. Let's get these shots made. Right lamp, right ramp, left loop. Oh, late on that. Get in there, get in your hole. Six, five, four. What's the last shot here? Side ramp? Theater, huh? Oh, just missed it. That's too bad. No, come here. All right, so how many how many combos am I at? Again, playing for extra ball here. Only got one combo so far this ball. Um, tempted to just go for these modes and hope it works out. There aren't really any other extra balls in play, and this is really ball five, so good for me. I'm even close to this. But it's kind of a crapshoot to shoot for that uh, quantum guy. But from the left, I have found that doing this from the left and backhanding it brief shortly into that works pretty well. And now we're at uh, singularity as well as EMP as the final two modes. And let's uh, let's just take one. Why is that? Oh, because lock is left. Okay, here comes singularity, which is a left loop. Goes left loop all the way across the front, basically. Left loop. Oh, it would have been nice to have uh, a big bang ready. Yes, yes, I know. Left loop. Now perhaps the right choice here, honestly, is to just trap up. Uh, so I'm gonna do that here because I'm running, running low on the timer, 15 seconds on the mode. The, the reason I'm doing this is I'm, I'm trying now is to just scam my way into Armageddon, which I would get by uh, completing the next mode as well as this one. So in the meantime, let's just chat about uh, some other things this game does really well to me. Uh, that feeling of hitting the Big Bang in particular is uh, really, uh, not, I don't know. There, there aren't very many shots that feel really, really satisfying. But anytime you hit that big bang for, for a big score, you're like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, notice that all of those shots, all four of them were taken with the backhand and the left flipper into the edge of that target. And you're taking advantage of the angle that's gonna be produced by that uh, return. So people ask me like, hey, do you, uh, do you ever use math while you're uh, doing these things? And I guess that was it. Uh, there's only one left, it's EMP. And I apologize in advance because EMP is gonna be really boring for you. Uh, EMP is going to be involving me sitting here 30 seconds and thanking the Patreon backers profusely for all the opportunities they've given me to come here to, to Papa and other places to continue playing pinball and talking through games with you. Uh, and big thanks to Jersey Jack Pinball for uh, working hard to create this game. It, uh, it's, it's excellent. There are a lot of great things to say about it. Uh, the only downsides I can even think of are that some of the scoring about the 
the, the rewards you get at the theater are a little uh, obtuse, and I'm not sure if the theater is supposed to kick the ball through or not, but if it's not, it's kind of penalizing to have to go shoot that theater and then have the ball potentially reject down the middle. Uh, so we're done, and uh, Armageddon, the final mode, you do not need to actually uh, uh, hit the guy to, to get going. So we need about two more modes here to get to Armageddon. We got a post transfer, and then plug it in there to start that next mode. Okay, okay, that just happened. But uh, we still have three more modes to go, and now we can play Armageddon. Boom! Ha-ha! <laughs> so by completing modes, you get higher jackpots in Armageddon. You get a bonus just for starting the darn thing. But now every time you hit a bob target, if you hit a, any, of the, any of the shots, you get a jackpot. If you hit the big bang or the sim card, you get a nice big award. Boom! What was that? What was that? 30,000? Yeah, that's nice. Uh, big bang ready, you say? Oh, well, let's do that. Boom! 50,000. Ah, it just feels so satisfying. And yet, you think about how many points some of the shots that were being made uh, in, the in the multiplied modes, and this is not actually up there necessarily with uh, all of those values. The phone is gonna give me a super, there we go. And this is uh, 60 seconds of, uh, of do whatever you can pinball. Jackpots. And playing well in the modes before this, leads to this uh, this kind of rewarding play here. Super Jack. Don't make me come down there. Okay, Anita Goodman. Let's go in that hole one more time. Get in there, boom! Come on, one more big bang out of this. Oh, time's up. Woo! 1.3 million in Armageddon. And it's all good. You have to play well in your modes to get Armageddon to be worth high value. The more modes you wait out, the more modes you don't finish, the lower that multiplier will be when you get into Armageddon. So I know that I've, I blew the, a bunch of those SIM cards, which, which really would have sent me over the top into the five, six million range. Uh, but uh, the way that this score came about is uh, from winning those modes early on. Uh, for, and, and we're not done here. We still have our ball in play. We'll actually get a new ball save after Armageddon. And we have, uh, uh, I don't know how many combos left. Maybe this guy will tell me. Still 28 combos. I have no more tilt warnings also. And you notice the tilt warnings say per game. So Jersey Jack is gonna make me uh, tilt because I took one warning here and one warning there and, and uh, here a warning, there a warning, everywhere a warning, warning. All right, so where are we here? We've got locks lit, lock is ready. Is this gonna dump me down the middle? I wish those would pass through. And uh, I'm still having such trouble with that side ramp. It's funny, there was a part in the game where I was doing nothing but making side ramps back to back. I think it was because I was aiming for the SIM card. So my answer to that is to start aiming for the SIM card. Do, 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 get up, stay up. All right, let's not... Uh, Let's not waste our opportunity to score more points here. Doom, doom, doom. Shoot the theater. Shoot the theater. Now on, on the dialed in that I play, it's uh, Bit Bar in Salem, Massachusetts, my hometown. Um, I can backhand it into this saucer directly from the right flipper consistently. It's actually an easier shot than shooting it from the left. But on this one, if you try to hit it super early, you're gonna crank into the base of the sling and it won't work. So post transferring over. And then that was a, almost a perfect post transfer because it deadened right there in the corner. Then go back, take stock of the shots you wanna make in the mode you're being asked to play. Let's play Whirlwind again so we can see Anita Goodman just one more time and remind ourselves of, uh, yeah, uh, of that. Get her out, 17,000, really 51,000. Boom, 54,000. So remember those uh, super duper jacks during uh, Armageddon? Well, these shots are actually more valuable than that. Uh, 51 and 54,000 each. Left loop, that's 51,000 again. Shoot the side ramp. Okay, let's see if we can make this side ramp. Get up there! Get up! Get on up! Get up! Get on up! Get on the scene, man. Get on up. Oh, get on up. 
Jeez, Moses. Aichi, mama, come on! Arr! Come on! Come on, Anita Goodman. Oh, Big Bang is ready. Let's do that. Five, four. No! Get there! Get there! Oh! 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 Oh, and that will be the end of it here, but the big pile of extra points from that SIM card multiplier at the end takes me up over 3.6 million for the game. And uh, hopefully uh, a good demonstration of the overall. We did not get to see Showdown. We didn't get anywhere near Showdown, which is what you earned for getting the uh, eighth uh, SIM card. And you can tell that the players who've gotten really big scores in this game, like over the five to 10 million range, they're doing it by SIM cards. They're doing it by uh, not missing the SIM card over and over again like I did. Uh, let's put in uh, the full name of uh, our $100 grand champion benefactor here, Atticus Palmer and his uh, father, Jeff Palmer. It, uh, best wishes to them and the recovery from the hurricane. Sorry to, to talk to you about this while playing a disaster game, but uh, too bad. That is not a picture of Atticus. Thanks for watching.